Hi guys, today is theme Thursday and it is Woodland Animals and Peter Rabbit by having you on. I believe the lady's name is Yvonne. Um, today, my little Dylan Asher, who is the sand kit by uh, Gudrun Legler, has got on his little Peter Rabbit outfit. It's a little Peter Rabbit onesie and it snaps, the neck snaps at the, at the neck, and um, little bib overalls. They're footless, and they crisscross in the back. This little guy, his artist was by Cece Baldomino. She's one of my favorite artists of I Love Reborn Dolls, and his hair is by Lang Reborns. He's going to lay down on his little critter boppy cover. It's got mooses and foxes and deers and an owl. There's porcupines, trees, flowers. That is about as woodland as you can get. So I noticed that Julie at the Country Cottage had put out another tag and I kind of like these tags um, this one is what you may not know about me because um, it's kind of fun to get to know each other you know we uh, we don't really know that much about each other just our dollies and so I thought I would do her tag today and give her a little shout out the first question is my current or previous jobs and I started out, um, I was in a work program in school. I went to school half day and I worked half day my senior year. And in that, I was 17 years old and I worked for the Wilmington Area Chamber of Commerce. And I worked there up until the time I got married. Um, I married my high school sweetie. He was a year older than me and he was in the Navy. Uh, I guess I started working at the chamber in February of 77 and I worked there through December of 77. We got married the end of December. And then from there, I worked in Jacksonville, Florida at the apartment complex we lived at. I was a leasing agent and then um, I just did a lot of office jobs. I worked in offices mostly in trucking companies, transportation, and um, I spent several years in telecommunications in Columbus. And there, um, a lot of my background was in purchasing or procurement, and I enjoyed that. Um, the last few years before I started doing what I've been doing now for the last 13, 14 years, I worked for the American Cancer Society. Um, now, I actually work from home. I work as a contractor through Medicaid and the MyCare, um, it's, well, MyCare Ohio in this case. Um, and Aetna is who I, I'm actually credentialed through Aetna and Melina, but I just have one client and work through Aetna. So, that's a little bit about me. Number two, one personal goal for 2022. That's hard. I, I, I Since mom died in December, I guess mm, I've kind of felt a little bit lost. So maybe I need to find a new purpose. Um, with COVID, we don't really go out and do very much, so I work from home and I'm just home. Um, winter weather, I've been home. I probably need to get out and make myself do some things because actually I'm a pretty much people person and I've I've always pretty much been a people person, but um, when mom had to go to the facility, 
I spent every day there. I went every day and you know, I got to be friends with a lot of the nurses and the aides and even people in the kitchen and housekeepers and people in the office. So that kind of got to be my, what, extra activities, I guess. Um, yesterday I went over to see a little 97-year-old woman that is in assisted living. Her and mom were very, very close. And I had promised her that I would continue to go visit her. She has no children. Her husband's dead. And she has a niece, but she lives several hours away. So I went over, and it was kind of fun because I saw a few of my old friends. Um, number three, what are your hobbies aside from dolls? Down through the years, I've had a lot of hobbies. The main one, I have always, always enjoyed scrapbooks. And, oh, probably 20 years or so ago, I got involved in the scrapbooking um, era where, you know, you had the die cuts and you had all the, the Sizzix machines and, you know, the, the circuit, the crickets, I should say. And I even uh, made a lot for gifts and I sold a lot. And from there, I went into making cards and jewelry. Um, concerts. I used to go to a lot of concerts when I lived in Columbus. Um, I also enjoy Bible journal journaling, as you guys know, and I need to get back into that. I really don't do the scrapbooking very well anymore. I got onto the, um, I forget what it's called, but, oh shoot. I forget what it was called. Um, basically, you slip your pictures in pockets and um, something life, I forget. And you can get cards and, you know, you still write like who, what, where, when, why, um, and all that. And you can decorate them up. But I just got into easy pages. I just, I got away from the scrapbooking and I sold a lot of, um, of all that. I even had an online scrapping st scrapbooking store for a while selling supplies. So, um, anyway, on to number four, favorite relaxing activities. Well, I have decided, uh, this would go back, I guess, to goals for 2022. I bought a chronological uh, Bible out at the Christian bookstore the end of this year. And my goal for this year definitely is to read through the Bible. I'm 62 years old and it's time. So one of my favorite relaxing activities is having quiet time and reading my Bible. Um, it's just a few pages a day and you know, I know I can do this. Another thing, I love to just have quiet time. Um, Maybe go to the city park when it warms up a little bit before it gets too hot. I love to just kind of sit and look at the pond and watch the people and just lose my mind, you know, and, and my thoughts. And um, I love to write. I've always loved to write. Someday I'd love to write a book. I always laughed. I said, I've got a Peyton, Pey Peyton Place life. So, um... It's boring anymore, but it used to be pretty uh, pretty interesting. Number five, do you prefer city, country, or remote living? Well, I was born and raised in a small town. Um, during my teenage years, it probably was really pretty cool because if you hung out in the right crowd, which I thought I did, um, we cruised around the shopping center in Frisch's. We would sit back behind Frisch's when they had car hops, um, have parties, go to the mall, go to concerts. Um, you know, it, it was a fun life. We just hung out in a small town and it, it was fun. But then when I was 18, I moved to Jacksonville, Florida, and I loved the city. I, everything's close. You've got restaurants, shopping, 
activities, the zoo. I mean, there's so much to do and you don't have to drive an hour or two hours to get there. So I love the city, but I love the quiet of the rural area, the, the quieter hometown. Um, my mom was born and raised in a very tiny little community, farming community. And I always thought, oh man, that would be so terrible to live there. How awful. And now I love, I, it, that's one of my, actually one of my relaxing activities. I love to just drive out through the country there. And I think I'd love to live out there, but I, I still like the convenience of the city. Number six, what is your nationality? Well, my dad's side I know was German and my mom's side was English from England. Uh, that's really about all I know about that. Number seven, what is your favorite meal and desserts? Uh, I'm not really big on meals, I guess. Um, I'm a vegetarian, I don't like hardly any meat. Um, I love good vegetables, I love really good salads. And my favorite dessert is Cherry Delight and Pecan Pie. My mom used to make Cherry Delight and it was so good. I haven't had any for a long time. Number eight, your favorite types of sports and exercise. Well, I never really enjoyed sports that much. I wasn't very good. Um, in phys ed, I hated it. I liked archery because my dad and I both had bow and arrows and in the backyard we had target and I, I did like that. And I used to like to bowl. Um, when I lived in Columbus, I loved golf. We lived not too far from Muirfield and uh, going to Muirfield and seeing all the players and, and watching, that was a lot of fun. I could still do that. We're not that far and my eye doctor's still there. I didn't give him up. But um, yeah, that's, that's my favorite. Exercise, when I was a kid, I, I rode my bike everywhere. I loved to bike ride, I loved to walk, uh, but that's about it. I'm, I'm like Julie, I'm not a gym person. I used to belong to the gym and I, nah, I'm just not a gym person. It was funny, um, one of my girlfriends and I both belonged to Spa Lady and we would tell her husband and, and her brother who I lived with, that we were going to the gym and somehow we always ended up at Baskin Robbins and they couldn't figure out why we gained weight and we were going to the gym. But that's the questions and Julie, those were good questions. Um, like I said, I, I have even done a few of those myself, like getting to know people. Um, I may do a few more. It's just fun to know who you're, you know, talking with and sharing your dolls with. I am going to get off of here. It looks like another gloomy day in Ohio. I have no plans today. I should get into it, get busy and do some things around the house. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, I got some paperwork done yesterday, so I'm caught up on all that. I hope all of you have a wonderful day and I want you to stay safe and be well. And also, I really quick want to thank the few new subscribers that I have. I noticed I've got a few new, and I appreciate you so much. I thank you guys for watching my videos, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.